Hey, hello guys yeah welcome to natural elder living yes uh, my promise to you guys i was going to do another video like if you watch the previous video that i did where i talked about um some dating secrets um sorry some dating tips about the men that we mentioned know about the ladies you know about so today i've come with another interesting topic that i think that you guys are going to enjoy so sit back and that's the rule. But if you have not yet subscribed to us and you're watching this video, you can do us that favor by clicking on the red subscribe button and the bell icon beside it. Yeah, it's don't just subscribe. You have to click on the bell icon so that you get notified when I upload the next video. So right about now, I'm going to jump into the topic of today, which is um, we are going to be looking at uh, some secrets uh, in relationships. Yeah, there's some secrets in relationship. Um, so the question is now, is, is it wise to keep secrets in relationships? Yeah, are there, there are some secrets that we should keep from our partners? Or do, um, is they, are you of the opinion that um, um, our partners should never everything about us? So these are the things we are going to be looking at today. Uh, so I bet you, you're going to enjoy it. So these are very, myself, I find it very interesting even looking at the topic. So we're going to, uh, you know, go on and explore this topic together. So left to me, I don't know, um, because they said two shall become one. So I don't see any secrets. Um, I don't um, propose that um, partners should keep secrets from each other. So, but some people with the school of thought that um, um, so at least it's for the uh, for the out of the relationship. If you want a healthy relationship, not everything you should tell your partner. So some even say that your partner should not even know anything about your bank account or should not tell your partner about your, um, maybe, you know, your relationship with your, your eyes, uh, like your relationship with your ex and all that. So, <laughs> so I don't know. So we're going to be looking at some, uh, some, you know, so we're going to be looking at some opinions from, uh, some looking at some opinions from experts, you understand? What they think about this question, whether is it wise to keep um, secrets in a relationship, or are there some secrets that we should keep? You understand? Know, whether after telling your partner, you should not everything you should tell your partner. Are there some secrets you should keep away from our partners? So these are the things we are going to be looking at now today. So um, let's look at um, one of the uh, according to some experts, um, they say um, keeping secrets in a relationship. Um, it's not a bad thing, it's a common thing, according to some of them. They say it's a common thing that um, every partner's every partner does it. I don't know. It's every partner does it, you know. Sometimes, uh, well, when we get on to the, you know, go through this uh, topic, you get to understand why they said it's a common thing because, um, you know, <laughs> you know, they said, um, I don't know, because it's not every partner that feels the pulse of um, the other partner, you understand? You know, even if your partner doesn't know your pulse, like doesn't know what you're thinking, I think that's um, yeah, it's worth keeping a secret from me or uh, So I don't know. So I believe that uh, it's not every secret that uh, <laughs> everybody has. Your partners, your partners know about you understand. So it's a secret, not everything your partner know about you, uh, because there's some things, especially the way you feel, you know, your your opinion about some things. You know, sometimes, you know, in relationships, sometimes we do a lot of compromising to, you know, keep the relationship going and all that. So, things like that, we do a lot of compromising and, you know, doing compromising doesn't mean that's how you wanted it, but just, just you want the relationship to, you know, relationship to keep rolling or relationship to be there and you just compromise, but you lied to yourself, you understand, and you've kept that secret from your partner. So, um, these are the things we are looking at right now. We're going to be considering on this video. So once again, if you're watching us, if you have not yet subscribed, you can look at the interesting topic that we are treating on this channel. So this is Natural Healthy Living, and you're watching this channel, Natural Healthy Living, and you have not yet subscribed. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and click on the red subscribe button because uh, I promise you guys that after this topic, I'm coming up with another topic again. So <laughs> I'm going to uh, like excite you guys with so much, so much, so much interest as a more topic, say, and some, I know, on relationships and all that. So what are you waiting for? Click on the red subscribe button. So I'm um, back to the topic. 
um back to the topic here so according to like i said earlier um some experts um believe that um lying in every relationship uh, is a common thing yes they say the common thing that uh whether you you do it intentionally or um inadvertently but people don't lie in their relationships you understand they say they don't lie in their relationships i don't know um, so we're going to be looking at that, uh, of course. Um, uh, because at the same time, we're going to consider something that allies, you understand, like things that are secrets, like if you kept secrets, this, you kept some, 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 like you kept this thing a uh, secret from your partner. So we're going to look at some things, consider some of those things today on this um, very session of this um, topic. So um, now we have acknowledged that. Um, some partners do lie, or rather, people do lie in their relationships, and that lies as uh, lies as seen as secrets. So, um, so right now, let's look at um, you know, so let's look at this. Uh, I'm going to you know explore this one. Like uh, some people have said here that um, according to some experts, they say sometimes, um, or it's not the the, the, of the opinion that um, there are some secrets you should tell your partner. And that's some secrets you should not tell your partner. Like, let's consider this other one. You know, not tell partner because why shouldn't tell your partner all secrets? Because some partner doesn't have the the mental the mental um, strength or prowess um, to withstand the secrets. You understand? Because this in some secrets are just um, like if you're get, get, going to tell your partner about it, it's like um, you know, it's not go down with their partner with your partner. So it's rather, it's, it's, rather, it's, rather, it's rather kept um, secret as it is, because not all partners will appreciate it. Okay, like let's say for instance, let's say um, you are in a relationship and you you find another person interesting, or you like that you are interested in another person. Yes, and you're liking someone else. Why you're in that relationship? Would you would you, would you think that is um, would you think is um, is uh, appropriate or is it wise to tell your partner about your feelings or what you felt about or what you're feeling about the other person on that person is it wise so it's not wise so those are the things that you keep secret from your partner you understand these are things you should keep a secret from your partner because it hurts them you understand that is not it's summer insane you're in a relationship and you you know you're telling your partner that you're, you find some you're finding someone in, um Someone else uh, interesting, uh, you understand? You're liking someone else. How, what do you, how do you think uh, your partner will feel? Though you're trying to tell the person, your partner, you're trying to bring the truth to, your, to, to her or she, you understand? But I bet you, I don't think, uh, as a one to ten, uh, the, just one percent or so will accept that, you understand? We understand, I uh, appreciate your feelings, you understand? But in, um, you know, um, in a, a normal scenario, uh, <laughs> other, others will not accept it. So they are not kept as secrets. So that's why you know, on this day, we're going to look at some of the things that you should keep as secrets and some you shouldn't keep as secrets. Because this other, this particular one that I've just mentioned, that I've been talking about right now, like sharing your feeling about someone else to your partner, is so, 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 so unacceptable. So, 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 so unacceptable. So, guys, if you're watching on, if you're watching this video and you, you know, like I mentioned, I keep this as a secret. Don't tell your partner about it. If you have feelings or someone else, don't tell your partner about it. You understand? You know, it takes um, emotional maturity. Let me put it that way. It takes emotional maturity for your partner to accept that, to appreciate that feeling. So, um, shouldn't tell your partner about it. So that's it, guys. So this is one of the secrets you shouldn't tell your partner. So let's look at um, one other one. So we are going to explore them, guys. So be with me. Stay with me, guys. We're going to be exploring this one after the other. Um, and so I not just I don't want you guys to just sit back there and be watching this video. I want you to also share because I this topic is somewhat inexhaustible. So I'm not saying that I'm going to exhaust all the all the points or the factors here. So I I want to um, encourage you guys to also join me in the conversation. So to do that, please. Check, click on the other subscribe. I mean, rather, go to the comment box, drop your own comments as a share your feelings, 
Please share your opinions elsewhere. Let me get to know what you think about this topic. Uh, you understand? So let's explore this, um, this very topic together because I find it very, very interesting. So I'm trying to share what I think about, what I feel about it. So if you think that there's some other secrets that you think um, is not appropriate to tell your partner, so tell, me, tell us in the comment box. So we're all, we're all learning, we're all sharing ideas together. So that's the guys. I'm sharing ideas together. So, um, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. So, what else again, guys? Okay, yeah, this is another, um, this other issue. So, I'm, I'm going to pop it as a question to us to answer as well. But I'm going to share my opinion about it. So, is it wise to also share your finances, like your financial, your financial status? Like, yeah, is it wise for your partner, especially the male partner? Is it wise for the female partner, rather? So know everything about your finances. Yes, yeah, and uh, what comes in, what goes out, and all that. Is it wise? Yeah, that's uh, because sometimes um, like the female partners are always uh, curious. Yes, yeah, and they're always curious. They want to know how you spend your money, what comes in, and what goes out. Yeah, that's uh, because you know why they do that. <laughs> they think uh, they, they can monitor that. They can, you know. Um, it kind of uh, reduce your yeah if you especially if you have if you have that uh, penchant of uh, you know trying to cheat on your partner so when your female partner when if you know knows what comes in what goes out you actually monitor or you know know how you know if you if you're going out there to see someone else because sometimes to to maintain on their relationships involves money so when you see your partner you know, um, looking at like trying to monitor you, trying to know what's what's also with your what's up with your with your finances and all that. Especially let's say for instance, um, you're a working class man, and maybe some you're a working class man, you're so, or rather you're a salaried man, and you earn um, let's say one thousand dollars a month, and uh, and let's say after everything, your net profit is some months. And let's say as a wife, and your wife knows that every month you do a particular, like you keep some amount of money for, for savings for the family. And let's say you, she now discovered that um, lately you've used, you've used, um, you've used, um, let's say, you've used, you've, you've used like even one third, one third, one third of um, the savings for that month without her knowing, you understand? Uh, you just use it on something like, probably you use it to have fun with some guys, to like your guys, you understand? To so hang out with the guys, I never told her. You know, as I, I still maintain that there's some secrets that will offend your partner, that's why I keep them as secrets. So let's say, you, now that you use the money to cheat on her, but you use it to have fun with your friends, like your male partners, I never told her. You see, she actually found out this, and she will, you know, a lot of things, a lot of things will be going through her mind, you know, like if you're seeing someone else, like uh, you send money to someone else. So these are the things. These are some things. These are the things. So there are some people that are of the school of thought that uh, if you want to enjoy your relationship, if you want to, if you want to maintain a healthy relationship, that um, um, you should as a man, you should as a man, um, not tell your partner or your your partner, but uh, like, you know, give accounts of your your finances. Uh, they're totally against it. So they said, but that now we stand. They said you should try as much as possible. Eh? You should try as much as possible to uh, try as much as possible to still provide for your family. Make sure that they don't lack anything. They don't lack anything. So you should try as much as possible to provide for your family. But at least. Still have money to just do other things, you know, without making accounts for them. So, <laughs> so these are the things that uh, you know. I don't think like let's see, let's just consider the um like let's look at how the like if as like a lady, you're a working class lady, and um you know you're working. Um, it's advisable as well to, to you to to see, keep some you know some chunks of your finances or uh, incomes. You understand? Keep some chunks of your incomes for your personal use and all that. You understand? Because as a lady, you you need a lot of um, spending more than the men. You understand? 
you may have to, you know, change, um, you know, I, I don't know, change, may do have a makeover and all that. So, you know, like this, these things pertaining to both parties, you understand, um, as a reviewing secrets of your finances. So it pertains to the both partners. So I don't think that, uh, I don't think the partners should know should know everything about your partner's finances, you understand? That should be kept a secret. So it's not, it's not, the, it's not advisable to reveal it. So you keep that as secret, guys. So that's um, point number two. So I don't know what you guys feel about it, what you guys think about it. I know some people might be thinking and I'm biased about it, that uh, I'm biased, but if you, I'm biased. Please tell me on the comment box. I want to know your opinion. I want to see what you think about. I want to know what you think about this. Um, what I just said. And um, one more thing again, guys. So number three point here is um, you know um, okay. Let's look at this other particular one. This one is um very very important topic or rather point that we have to look at. So is it wise? Uh, to tell your partner about your, let me don't put that away, okay? Because I'm looking at this particular one, but okay, yes, let's look at this. Let's talk, let's talk about this very important one. Let's say, is it wise to tell your partner about your crush? Yes. So, the word quote, as in word crush in quote, you understand? The word crush in quote. So, a crush. Is someone that um, let's say um, you're fantasizing about, yes, and so he's a crush. So probably when you finish, when you um, actualize that um, fantasy, maybe uh, everything will come back to normal. So is it wise to tell your partner about your crush? Like I, I think I talked about it earlier. So these are the things we should ask ourselves. You know, these are the things we should ask ourselves. Is it wise to tell our partners about this? Is it wise to tell our partners that we are crushing on someone, that we are feelings for someone, or feel like I, I don't know, doing something like this, or doing one thing or the other with our partner, or with someone like that? You understand? You know, this son, this person has, uh, you know, how do you think your partner will take it? So, guys, because of, um, uh, let me make a point here, guys. Uh, another topic is something that um, I don't think even. Uh, um, yeah, one hour is okay for us to talk about this topic, so I'm going to do this uh, video in part. Uh, I'm going to bring the part two of this video, same topic. So, um, so let's let's keep talking about it, but I'm coming up with the part two later. So, now you ask yourself now, is it wise, um, to tell your partner about your crush? Like, you know, tell it, you know, like you're telling your partner, hey, babe, I want to cheat on you. So is it wise to do that? Is it wise to share that kind of secrets? <laughs> so, yes, uh, is it wise to share that kind of secret? So I don't think, uh, like I see maintaining, I still say that, um, you know, the reason for not telling, sharing everything, uh, like all secrets with your partner is because to maintain the relationship, you understand? So it might not be healthy for the relationship, you understand, based on the, um, my partner, you understand, my partner's um, uh, mental state, you understand, a mental emotional state. You have to look at that, you have to consider that before sharing some secrets with your or she, you understand, not everybody will accept it. So, you understand, say if you're doing an open relationship where you can share anything. So, but in this particular situation, I'm asking the wife to tell your partner about everything, you understand, like, Tell your partner about um, crush somebody been crushing on. So guys, uh, if you think it's right, you should tell your partner about it. So you should tell us on the comment box. But um, if you feel it's not right to tell your partner about your crush, also tell us on the comment box. So once again, guys, if you are joining us and you are watching this video, you have not yet subscribed. This is a Natural Audio Living channel. Yeah, this is Natural Audio Living. So guys. If you're not watch as in if you're not subscribed, click on the other subscribe button and the bell icon beside it. So this is your um your, your boy talking on our uh, natural living channel. So guys, um we've talked about that. So if you think um 
um, it's not wise to do that. So you can tell us in the comment box. So uh, let's consider this other point. Um, is it wise? Um, so these are some of the things that we consider some secrets and all that. So I want to talk about this point. So there's, you know, these are things that are seen as points, you know, points that are seen as secrets. So the question is, is it wise to share the partner, those secrets with your partner or not? To? So these are the way we're trying to look at it um, side as on well, side by side, like look at the topics holistically. So is it wise now to tell your partner uh, about their uh, their friend you don't like? You understand? Is it wise? I think um, absolutely. I think the artist is right. So. That is right. Yeah, I mean, when doing that, you have to state the reasons why you don't like your partner's particular friend or so. You understand? You know, in a relationship, sometimes you might, especially when you find out that um, um, some of the slight issues you're having in your relationships are being caused, you understand, being caused by your partner's friends or friend, you understand? So when matters like that arise, when matters like that arise, um, you know, somehow you will start, you know, resenting the friendship of that your I mean, your partner's friendship with that person. So what is it you is something to me, I think you should call your partner, you know, talk to your partner about it, tell your partner, hey, hey babe, I, I don't I don't enjoy your relationship with this person. Or hey babe, I think to end whatever you have with this person. I don't find it um, interesting anymore. So these are, um, I think, someone should, as in, if you're in a relationship, you can do, I can actually do that. You can actually do that if you're in a relationship to tell your partner that you don't like a particular friend that your partner is seeing. You know, this one is just a platonic friend, but you can see tell your partner that you don't like it. You know, so even as a as you know, as a leader, the lady in the relationship, you should you can sit your maybe partner that oh, babe, this particular guy, I don't like him. I still the reason why you don't like him. <laughs> you understand as well. Yeah, still the reason. You don't just tell your partner that you don't like a particular friend that probably um he or she or maybe if I probably your partner and that person are and have come a long way. You know, I've come a very long, long way and you're just telling your partner to stop, you know, to cut off the relationship, to stop seeing that person as friend, or, you know, to cut off that relationship. So, uh, if you look at it, for you then to be able to maintain that relationship for years, and you are coming just now, you're coming now, and you want to come between them, you want to come in between um, them, you understand? So, you look at it, you know, so you must have, before pulling off that shot, um, you should try to have, um, Arsenals of reasons, you understand? What I mean, arsenals of reasons, like cogent reasons why your partner should, should, should cut off that relationship with that person. So they should have a cogent reasons. Um, probably to me, I think some of the reasons, if it affects your relationship, if it's affecting your relationship negatively, that's when you should, you know, grump, grump about it. But if it's not affecting your relationship, um, negatively, I don't think. And it's something you guys should even sit back and talk about. You understand? Probably, even if you don't want to cut off from the person completely, as I go about it, you can just limit the way you guys see each other. You can limit, you know, the tie. You can just, not just cut off the tie, but you can just limit it. You understand? So, that's it, guys. Um, so, that's the point. But if you feel like um, this very point is not like when you are sharing about this very point, it's not right. Uh, is it wise for you to tell your partner that you don't like a particular friend he or she is saying? So, if you think it's right to share that secret, so say it on the comment box, drop it on the comment box, guys. So, once again, this is natural and living. So, if you're watching us, if you're not subscribed, please click on the red subscribe button. So let's go to another point. Um, I'm enjoying this topic, guys. I don't know for you guys. I'm enjoying it. So let me left out. I want to see your reactions as well on the comment box. If you think, well, I want to know what you think about this particular topic. I find it very interesting. I'm enjoying it as I'm even going through it. So if you find it very interesting, please 
share it on the comment box. Let's follow up on each other. Let's know what you guys think. And um, some of the decent points that I've you know highlighted, and if you feel that um, what I said about some of those points are not right, or what I think about those points are not right, please tell me on the comment box. I want this video. I want every video that I make to be very interactive. So I, you can make it interactive by dropping and uh, sharing your own opinion, your points on the comment box. Me myself, I'm going to join you guys on the comment box as well. Yes, I'm going to react to your own comments. So once again, this is Natural Audio Living Channel. So today on this topic, we are looking at some of the secrets. Um, this is like uh, what do I call it? This question is something as something I see as in. I'm highlighting some points that um, so I will, I'm looking at some points or some things in relationship that you know the question is should we keep them as secrets or shouldn't keep them as secrets from you know our partners so these are the things we are looking at so I've shared some of the points I share some of the things some of the things that you know that to me I shared my opinion if they should be kept secrets or not you understand so that was it guys. Now, um, this very one on my list is um, family. Um, you know, is it wise for you to tell your partner? Is it wise for you to tell your partner about um, you know, tell your partner everything about your family? Is it wise? To some extent, um, to some extent, I think. It's not wise to some extent. I think it's wise because, um, you know, sometimes, <laughs> you know, funny enough, I let me say that I've seen a situation where you know your partner gets to know everything about your your family, and you know, sometimes they attribute some of your or mannerisms that you put up as you know. Attributes it as uh, attributes it the fact to family because you're going to know a lot about your family. So, uh, situations like that, when your partner comes to know about your family and um, discover, especially let's say if the if the parents does not have, uh, the parents do not have, um, you know, uh, a good record in you know bringing you guys up or you know the next record. They play their negligence and bring you guys up. So um, sometimes, inadvertently, um, such traits um, have their way of creeping into your relationship and your partner. Sometimes these things could be used as, they could be used in a positive way. And I mean a positive way. Like sometimes if you, you know, that this, this things might be as weaknesses to you. Yes, um, some family traits that you you know you unknowingly bring into the relationship, but if you find out your partner find out that um, these are the family traits, you understand. Your partner finds out you know find out that these are family traits, so you can find healing. You can find a solution from that. So let's say if your partner does not know that these are family traits, uh, in terms of. Uh, I mean, family traits in terms of, uh, um, you know, particular lifestyle, uh, you know, are you putting up in your relationship that, you know, the rest of your siblings or parents, yeah, so also exist the uh, um, same uh, lifestyle. So what do you think will happen? Your partner, I find, if he finds out that, or if he or she finds out that uh, it's his particular behavior, it's from the family, so they can take it from there and look for help for you. Either go taking it to a counselor, you know, seeking for medical or psychological, just saying, you know, help or something. So that's the most sense is that best able to share, to share um your family, um to share some of your family secrets, yeah, that's how with your partner. Share some of your family secrets. So on the other hand, I just mentioned the positive. Uh, I just mentioned the positive uh, um, aspect of it. You understand? Yeah, the positive aspect. So let's look at the negative aspect of it. 
another negative aspect is um, when okay let's say for instance um for instance let's say you're a lady in a relationship and you you are molested by any of your uncle but one of your uncles uh, you are molested by elderly relation or relative of your uh, by elderly relative when you were younger when you were, when you were a minor so um, things like that you ask things like that you ask yourself is it wise to tell your partner about it is it wise to tell your partner see what happened to me when or you know these are family secrets yeah these are family secrets because you don't want you don't want people to you know to have a bad this image about your family yeah you people to have a bad image about your family so um, things like that, you ask and say, is it wise to tell your partner about it? Yeah, and I was sharing. Yeah, so, and I was sharing. So, let me, I'll give you instances why it's sometimes it's worth sharing. So, I'm sharing. Um, let's say, I'll give you instances. There's a particular one that happened in my country where, um, um, for like, it happened over 17 years. Um, yeah. The victim, let me put it that way, the victim now came up to t- actually, the victim told her husband. And her husband in turn made it public. Made it public. You know, so, so according to the victim, um he, she okay, she she when she made that she the incident is about she and a particular uh popular pastor in my country. So then the pastor was not that popular. He was a young pastor, a boarding uh, pastor preacher in my country. Yeah. So she she went to the church when there were just few. You know, so she went to the church with her cousin. And then she was um, on holiday. So she had to go to um, the church with her cousin. So get to the church and the man I got so uh, um, from distance liked her. Um, and after the service, the minor girl went to her and told her that, um, uh, according to the um, reports, um, that uh, it asks her, you understand? It asks her, you know, it talks so many things about, um, you know, so many things. The minor told her that uh, he, um, he will want her to walk in the church. Maybe she, she can sing that she he enjoyed the way she sang and if she can sing it, you know. Because that was the first time going to the church. So she accepted, thinking that, wow, you know, she's doing the service for God. So, um, forward to the, for as in like, fast forward to this by them to what happened. She said, um, on one faithful day, like at the time she became close to the man of God, and uh, she even the wife not knew, knew her, and uh, she would go to the house if she was accepted. So, on one particular day, um, the other, uh, she said she did not know how the man of God got wind that, uh, uh, family, a mom and dad will be traveling for the week. That uh, she will be left alone. So, so that first morning, she 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 she, she heard um, she heard the door rang. Yeah, so she heard the door ring, brother. So when she when she went to you know check who was that, lo and behold, very early in the morning. I think that was the very day, even the first time, the very day the parents left for. A long journey, so she was so surprised to see, and that man has never come to their house at that ungodly time, ungodly morning. So she said, when he, she opened the door, and it was the past the pastor. So she was surprised. I said she was in her ninety. So at the time she was um, feeling, and she was having feel, this feeling. She, and she was saying, "Wow." Um, you know, she saw so many things, but at the time she, she you know, she reconciled with the, you know, with the, with the visit that, oh, you know, she acknowledged the visit, like, welcomed him. 
So he sat down, then said she was alone in the house with her sister. So she said, um, the man of God sat and she, you know, they got talking and on that. And she was in her night. She said, well, I don't know if, um, because that kind of situation, I don't know if the man of God was enticed by maybe present look what she was wearing. I don't know. So, but she said, um, before he knew it, the man of God grabbed her. I don't know, the house was upstairs and they were downstairs. So grabbed her. You know, forced himself on her and and had uh, you know kind of knowledge of her. So uh, according to the J, they said it happened. She said she as it has ever happened. She was surprised and it happened. You know, and she was um, according to her, let me quote. She said she was uh, seventeen years old when it happened, and the man of God had kind of knowledge of her. Still went outside to get her, you know, uh, anti pregnant uh, substance. And she took it. But the question, you know, these are things that, uh, like the family secrets, you know, things that happened way back that, you know, even the family had kept secrets and, you know, you're sharing with your partner. Is it a wise decision to make? So, to, though, though the, 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 uh, the summary of the old Jesus is that um, um, the secret brought a whole, a whole of public uh, uproar. You understand that people protested to asking the pastor to step down, asking the pastor to tender a formal apology. Because that was, she said that she even took the, they took the matter to the court because she said that was what she wanted because she, the man took her um, kind of knowledge of when she was still underaged. She was 17, she never knew, you know, she, you know, she was, she was not, um, she was not, she couldn't make a decision on her own. So, so, by the end, um, pastor won the case because the court dismissed the case that um, it was like, um, um, how would I put it, that the case was like, uh, you know, was you know, men, so had the intent of uh, tarnishing the image of the pastor. So, it, um, it crashed the, 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 the case, she she lost. So, and that has become uh, traumatic to her and all that, you know, she was seeking for justice and she never got it. So, these are for some of the things that, um, you know, like this is just, just uh, example or incident I just cited. But you look at it, it's a wise. There are so many incidences like that. Like, I've seen situations where even, like, people marriages. So after so many years, they couldn't tell anyone, they, shouldn't, they couldn't talk to anyone about some secrets like that. And they now muster the courage to do that, you know, to share. And what they think is the best position, the best position to, you know, to you know, be privy to these in secrets. It's your partner. You understand? Your partner is in the best position to, you know, for you to confide, to be your confident. Your partner is supposed to be your confident. But now the question is, you know, because you are going to look at the implications of like, sharing some of these like, like this family secrets with your partner. You understand? You're going to look at the implication. You know, your partner will have your partner is going to have uh have a, a twisted impression about your pa- family. Yes. Because the former impression you had about your partner will change. It's going to have a different impression about your family, especially if the, the ugly incident, um, that maybe the ugly incident happened between you and maybe um, my father, or happened between you and your mother, or happened between you and um, a senior relative in your family. You understand? So, uh, you know, it's going to change a lot, you understand? Because it's going to change a lot. So, these are things, um, you, know, you know, it's you know, these things are just personal. I don't know. They are personal. Is it why? Because Whatever any expert will tell you, I don't think um, um, it's something that we should accept as, you know, it should be a universal truth or something, or should be a universal truth, um, factor, you understand? You know, telling you that um, it's wise to tell your partner about your family secrets, you understand? I swear those ugly family secrets, so, you know, it's wise. Because sometimes, uh, as, a person, as a person, you have grown with that secrets, you understand? You know, the secret has haunted you for years. Uh, son. 
you never share it to anyone you kept it to yourself and you know sometimes that's what to tell you the um, things secrets are that when you share those secrets you you get healed faster yes they tell you that you get healed faster when you share secrets like that but um you know I me mean, i'm looking at the implication you understand um i just want to tell on your relationship i can tell you know, change everything you know i feel some things in the relationship so it's a personal thing so guys i don't know that's just my own personal opinion but if you think that um i'm not right you understand know, like if you think i'm um, contrary to what i just said so tell us on the comment box so still want to know if you think otherwise um so that's it guys um family secrets i don't know it's the way to share family secrets with your partner so that's our point guys so let's move on ah sorry guys i don't know i bored you guys with so much talks about this uh, particular because i think i i spent so much time on that particular topic they will share some incidences that happened um but if you're watching this is natural elder living channel guys if you're watching natural elder living channel if you're watching our video right now if you're not yet subscribed please click on the last subscribe button and the bell icon beside it you understand we would love to have you on, on our channel we'd love to share you know contents like this with you we'd love to share contents like this with you so click on the little subscribe button and the bell icon beside it yes guys so um going to another point guys uh this other point is something that um you know that's to do with your career that's to do with your goals personal goals that's to do with your um personal productivity yeah you know as you know, sometimes people think um you know going into a relationship or marriage, marriage relationship and put it that way that your dreams will be cut off you know some will be cut off but that does not tell the truth uh, tell the truth rather that's not tell the truth because um sometimes and if you're in a married relationship, I think that's when you know, you know, your your marriage, your your relationship could be. Uh, I mean, your dreams, careers, and all that, you know, could be facilitated. Like the achievement could be facilitated because you you know, you, you imagine the other time you, you know, you're just pushing it alone. But now, if your partner comes into, you know join forces with you to help you pursue those dreams to help you achieve those goals you understand you know it's a lot easier than a lot easier than that so so a lot easier than that but um some part of different um, different uh, opinions that uh, some of your dreams some of your goals some of your ambitions should be kept secrets from your partner you understand they have their own reasons but Sometimes, you know, it's just not you know, like opinions. People are entitled to their opinions, but that's why you don't just get you shouldn't get mad at them. Yeah, so I should appreciate what they think or they feel about something. You know, so I should appreciate it. They look try to look at it from their own perspective. So but um let's see, okay, let's look at why they some of them say so. You know. Um um you know they said that that should be a uh, that's on privacy. So I call it privacy. I don't know. <laughs> they twisted the word secret so privacy. You understand? So that's uh, some of your privacy that you should keep away from your partner. You understand? That partner must know everything about you. That's what they said. That's uh, that's what they think. You understand? Your partner should know everything about you, especially your goals, your job, your son. You know things like that. You know goals and all that. So, but. I don't, I don't, you know, these are things that, because these things make, these things make, um, I don't know, sharing things like that with your partner, I don't think that's, it, it affects anything. It doesn't, because to me, I don't give you the positive uh, importance of it that, uh, you, know, you know, you guys should join forces together to, you know, to work together, to, you know, especially to achieve the goals together. So you see, so why sh sharing your ambitions with your partner? You know, so it's a welcome development. It's a laudable effort. It's a laudable thing to do. So you shouldn't keep away some of those dreams. You shouldn't keep away some of your aspirations in life. You shouldn't keep away some of your goals in life from your partner. 
you understand? Because especially if you understand your partner very much, that is you know is a support system. You understand that your partner is a support system that your partner, partner, your partner can you know share his own energy with you to chase your goals and all that. You understand? If you understand your partner that way, then there's nothing wrong with sharing um, your ambitions with your partner. You know, sometimes why some people sometimes should be guided when doing that anyway. You should be guided because some partners are just funny because let's say as a let me use uh, let me talk about the ladies in the relationship. As well as the ladies, let's say the ladies if your goals, if your you know ambitions are somehow higher or loftier, yes uh, are loftier than uh, that of your other uh, guy or so. You understand? Some guys might feel, uh, you know, it's like a guy that has um, esteem issue. That guy might feel, um, might feel bad. That's that guy might feel bad that, wow, well, that my, you know, my guy is dreaming higher than me. Or oh, my guy is, uh, you know, I think you're ambitious. Some guys are really like um, over ambitious ladies. You understand? Some guys are like over ambitious ladies. I think that uh, like over ambitious ladies that uh, you will not be humble. You know, it's where the guys are saying that they are, they are, you know, they are. How I put it? They are relegating their positions to the ladies when your guy, and your ladies' uh, dreams goes and all that are higher than yours. So, so that's why I say sometimes you have to just be careful about some of the secrets you share with your partners. You understand? You just have to be careful because some some are just better kept secrets. You know, some, some things are better kept secrets than telling your partner about it. Because some affect some secrets will affect will even my relationship forever. But my relationship forever will change the, the way you the perspective the perspective of your partner about you. Your, your partner's perspective about you to change a lot. So these are as I said um some things are better kept secrets. So things are better kept secret. So things like that. Uh yeah, so, but um as I say everything um, just boils down to uh how much you understand your partner. Yeah, so, it uh, boils down to how much you understand your partner because if you understand your partner very well, if you understand your partner very well, then you should learn to if she know what if you understand, yeah, it talks about it talks about you know, things about understanding. Because you understand your partner very well. I don't think there's anything you should from your partner. Yes. If you understand your partner very well, I mean understand your partner very well. Your partner, partner um, emotional maturity is cool. Your partner's uh, psychological maturity or, you know, psyche is, like, is great and all that. You understand? His understanding. Someone that can, you know, is empathetic and all that. So, if you know, your partners if your partners have this quality then there's nothing wrong with sharing someone's secrets with you or she. You understand? With you or she. So that's my own point of view guys. If you think otherwise so guys, tell us on the comment box. So this is your channel, natural elder living. So that's um stated our points there. Um I'm going to be looking at um let's do a recap of everything we just said guys. Uh, let me do a recap. Um, let's do a recap. You know, I first talked about uh, if you're just joining us, I'm just doing a recap of everything I just said on this particular this thing, on this particular topic. Like this very topic, we are looking at some things that it should. <laughs> we are looking at some things that should kept should be kept as secrets and some things that should be shared with your partners. You understand? So we are looking at them because. Um, we're not being authoritative about them, but by just telling us, we're just looking at, you know, wearing them side as them side by side, looking at, looking at the pros and the cons of not sharing them or still sharing them. You understand? So these are the things we're looking at today. So, um, so the very point of our topic today is about, um, you know, secrets you should tell your partner. Or it should not tell your partner. So you should or should not tell your partner. This is the topic we are looking at today. Yes, and so you should or shouldn't tell your partner. These are the things we are looking at in your relationship. So that's the very topic we are considering today. 
and I will mention some secrets or rather some things that uh, we consider that we, consider we of the opinion that it should be kept secrets and you know some yeah, I thought it is uh, especially um you know like sharing your emotions about you know, sharing your emotions with your partners, you know, so, you know emotions of uh, let's say you have emotion emotional uh, you know cheating emotions and other you know, so, so you have a cheating emotions, you know, so, is it wise to tell your partner? So that's the number one this one is to consider. So these are the things, you understand? Know, so, it's wise to tell your partner that you, you feel like cheating or you're crushing on someone else. So these are the questions, guys. So we'll you know we'll try to see if um, it's ideal to do that. You understand? Know, so. Because sometimes why we are considering this, you know, just about turning your partner, we're looking at the, you know, how how the sharing those things will be to your relationship. You understand? Know, so. We're looking at how healthy it will be in the long run. You understand? Know, so. Because if they are not healthy, what I mean, healthy, being healthy, um, I mean, um, you're not going to affect anything tomorrow in your relationship. You're not going to affect anything. Then it's good to tell your partner about them. You know, somebody feel that it's going to affect your partner, you're going to affect your relationship tomorrow. Then keep it away from your partner. Keep it away from your partner. Just keep it away from your partner. So that's it, guys. Um, we talked about... So this is a recap I'm just doing about this very topic that I've treated. Um, I still talked about... Uh, you know, sharing your financial status. Yes, um, financial status, your incomes, your incomes, and, you know, uh, and uh, everything that comes and goes out of your pocket or your bank accounts is the ones to share with your partners. So, your partner, rather. So, that is the second point we considered. And if you're watching, if you feel that it's not wise to do that, please tell us in the comment box. Because some people have different opinions about this. People share different opinions about it. Diverse opinions about it. So if you feel that it's not wise to do that, to tell your partner about your financial status, to tell your partner about everything that comes in and goes out of your um, bank account. So if you think it's not wise, so tell us on the comment box. So that's um, point number two that we talk we considered. Uh, we consider also consider the uh, um what is that? uh we also consider uh, you know let's say uh, I'm coming guys I also consider about you know like I still maintain that it's sharing tell your partner your intentions emotional intentions let me put it that way there's something like that emotional intentions you know what I mean by it? emotional intentions like what you feel like doing, like you belong you to do something, you want to do it. Is it wise to tell your partner, especially when you know that that you want to do it's, it's not something your partner was set or would like? You understand? Now, the question is, is it wise to do it? Is it wise to just go ahead and do that, you know, without telling your partner? You understand? You might just do it and keep it away from your partner. You understand? But is it wise to tell your partner before doing it? Yeah, not that you but if, okay, let's use this a particular example. Like if you if you, if you wanna cheat, if you're crushing on someone, yeah, you say you wanna cheat with you know, with the person. So is it wise to tell your partner about it? And if you like yeah, sometimes if you tell your partner about it, that's the end of it. That's the end of it. You understand? But your partner is gonna find every possible means to stop you from doing it. Uh, I find every person means to stop you from kind of that um, action. You understand? So you know, as you say, what's the of telling your partners about it? Why some people would rather do it and come and tell your partners about it? You understand? Not before doing it, because they consider doing it and tell your partners about it. Because if you, if you, you know, son, so, you know, you tell your partner about it before doing it, and, you know, talk to you out of doing it, it might feel bad, it might feel, it might feel, um, yeah, but it might feel bad. So you consider it, think about it. So you might feel bad, your partner, you know, so 
that your partner no, especially you, you know, you do it. Yeah, oh no, that your partner is fine, fine to do something like that. You understand? Probably sometimes it might even be a question on on your friend, you understand? And coming to tell you about their feelings and what they think, or their question on your friend. So things like this, you understand? These are, they are very complicated. They are very complicated. You know, as I said, are these things you should share with your partners? That's all. All the things you should tell your partners about. So that's the thing, guys. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Because that sometimes, that's some, I, I used to tell people that some secrets that you, you, you know, some secrets that uh, you know, I know they are not meant to be kept, but you know, if you share it with your partners, and then that's the end of your relationship. You just kiss your relationship bye bye. Yeah, this um, aspect of uh, that tendency of cheating, you know, so, uh, that tendency of cheating. Because telling your partner about it, you know, relationship, especially when it comes to love, is, you know, it feels very jealousy and all that. Because just imagine telling your partner that you want to cheat and you, you know, let, let, let he or she know the person you want to cheat with. Yes, sir. So just imagine, say, just imagine you're cheating. You are telling, you tell your partner they want to cheat. They are crushing on someone. And your partner goes ahead to the same thing I told you that yeah, she wants to cheat. <laughs> yes, sir. You see, your partner will just withdraw. Will just withdraw, like, you know, will just withdraw from it on the ads. So that's it, guys. I also talked about um, you, you, um, you know, talking to your partner or telling your partner um, if you dislike his or friend. So I think I did that. I talked about it. So is do you, do you think there's need for you to share that with your partner? Tell your partner that oh, you don't like this particular person that he or she is hanging out with. And probably you know some relationships like that. You know some people tell, say that you you um, ought to respect your partner's uh, uh, relationships. You understand? Because they might look, uh, you know, they've come a long way and all that. And you, you're just coming and telling your partner that um, should you know cut the relationship off. So situations like that, um, how do you con- communicate that to your partner? Do you think you should open up and tell your partner about it? That you should stop seeing that person, you know, telling that person, telling your partner how much that uh, his relationship is affecting you guys. So that's it. I think I talked about that. I I really dwelt on that extensively. Um, so one other thing, guys. Um, I told you I'm going, I'm going to do this video, the part two of this video. So you just stay put. After this, I'm coming up with the part two of it. And on the part two of it, I'm still going to add something else, like to talk about some other topics, because this topic, like I said, is something that is not, it's not something I'm going to exhaust in one video. So that's why I'm going to do a part two of it. So please, once again, if you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, you understand, you're not yet subscribed, this Natural LD Living channel. This is our channel that you're watching this video from. So if you're not yet subscribed, please click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon beside it. So that you get to notif- be notified when we especially when I'm coming out we'll coming out with the next video. If you enjoyed this video, that means the next one I'm going to upload. Please click on the red subscribe button. And so, um, so if you enjoyed this video, please I want to get your I want to know your own reactions. I want to see a few or two about everything I've said. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? So yeah. tell me whatever you think about it. Let me know what you think. If um, if you think uh, what I said is not the right thing, if you think at the time is or if you ever support some of the points I made, let me know also. If you don't support some, let me know also. Uh, because anything you say in the comment box, I'm also going to react to it. Like I said, I want this um, video to be very interactive. Um, so I need your comment. I need your reactions, please. I need your reactions. Yes, I need your reactions. And uh, please, uh, once again, if you enjoyed this video, 
I want to get more viewers. So can I post share this video, please? I post share the video to our friends, share it on your social handles. I want people to watch this video. I want the people to come up here and interact with us because um, I want to be encouraged to put more videos because we have a lot of um, contents, so much interesting, interesting topics I want to share with you guys. Um, so you do us um, just a lot of goodbye, you know, sharing our contents, telling people about us because people will love this content because I want us to, I want it to be very interactive. So that people get to watch us, that people get to come to us this uh, channel and, you know, listen to us, watch our videos. And one more thing again, the course of this channel, um, we'll be taking, I mean, like, we'll be asking you guys to, you know, tell us, you know, share some topics that you want us to treat, you understand? You want us to talk about, any topic you want us to talk about, you can still tell us on the comment box. Um, we all talk about it, so we'll create a, you know, a session for it. We we'll create a session for it. We are the viewers who get to interact and you know discuss about it too, especially on the comment box. Or if you are going through anything in your relationship and you need um, you need someone to talk to, you need an advice. You can see call on us. We are son. You can see call on us. You know because one thing we do here, we don't claim that we know it all. But we believe that with the help of you know, we're trying to build a community here. Yeah? With the help of our viewers, people that are watching us, you know, we're going to share the uh, story with them. We're going to share the story with us. I'll share the story with them. Well, um, they get to share their opinions, sample their opinions with us, and you get to you know look, look um, listen to their opinion. I mean, what, read their opinions and all that, and you know you can get solutions. So that's why it's better to you know share your thought stories with us. So guys, um, like I said. I mean, go and prepare for the next video. Uh, you understand? Know, because um, I'm still going to sample some other um, um, topics, and you know, I'm going to sample some other factors. You understand? Know, like things I see, you know, it should be seen as secrets, and since you shouldn't keep our secrets. So, once again, you know, thank you guys for watching this video. All right. Thank you for stopping by at our channel natural elder living so we appreciate you guys so see you on the next video guys bye